All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Fellas, have you ever just had like a really bad start to your day? Maybe you wake up late for work, your car's out of gas, so you're gonna be even later to your job now just to come home at nighttime and listen to your wife bitch about something that you truly could not care about. To me, that sounds honestly pretty miserable, but I think I've got something else that sounds a little bit worse. Some of you guys may have actually heard this story before. It's a little bit on the older side, but either way, man, Man, this this shit's just simply fucked up. Today we're going to be talking about the CSGO former pro known as Shay. Anytime you guys see a gamer girl video, that usually means Shay is going to be in the thumbnail, and for good reason, because she is pretty hot. I will throw the visual evidence up on screen, but anyways guys, before we get too far into the video, if you guys just so happen to enjoy today's content, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video, and without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. According to ESPN Brazil, Brazil, Shea was found guilty of embezzlement and larceny. Reportedly, she and a former partner ran an online retail business between 2013 and 2017. The investigation led by the Gay Co. revealed bank statements and tax information unveiling the company failed to provide promised customer goods. Their findings report that the company scammed over 116 victims throughout its lifetime. So obviously that's not good. They scammed 116 customers they weren't giving out products that they were supposed to provide once given payment i mean don't get me wrong that situation is terrible for the customers and i would be pissed if i was in that situation but is that really deserving of 116 years behind bars yeah man i, I don't really know about that i, I don't know nothing about that <laughs> basically shay was given one year per customer that she scammed i think if shay was in the u.s she'd probably be looking at a sentence of about 10 to 30 years depending Depending on some other factors like how much money she actually stole but apparently in Brazil they don't fuck around bro they don't put up with that shit down there furthermore her lawyer claims that they are appealing the sentence because they find the ruling absurd moreover the financial amount claimed in the lawsuit is a gross overestimation he continues to assert the prosecution failed to provide additional evidence recovered during the investigation proving the company's innocence during its initial proceedings we are appealing the sentence that was absurd and the amount claimed by consumers does not reach fifty thousand dollars this is honestly just another greedy youtuber i'm sure a lot of you know about the t martin situation if you don't basically t martin had like a couple million subs he was one of the biggest call of duty content creators of all time and then one day he did a little subtle promotion in a video talking about this csgo lottery website where he was essentially scamming customers but not quite to this extent it was really nothing more than an online casino and it was rigged to an extent you still had the ability to earn some of the high-end skins in the game it's just your odds of getting it were, were pretty goddamn low if we're being honest but still like that's not a complete scam i believe the situation with t martin was that he didn't disclose he actually owns the website however the situation with shay here this is this is just completely fucking different here all right it's one thing to take people's money and give them a low chance of opportunity to get that money back you know what i'm saying like essentially you put in 500 bucks to get a random skin and you get like a shit skin out that's kind of expected i, I at least i'd say so but when it comes to shay's business you just put the money in and you just get fucking nothing you get literally air in return congrats buddy you fucking win at least at the time i believe shay was one of the top five players in the world for csgo she was making a pretty good bag probably the richest woman gamer in the world but just remember fellas like the lambo that ain't gonna fucking do it the million dollar mansion yeah that, that's not gonna fucking cut it here buddy i need more goddamn money so i'm gonna scam my own consumers the people that support me most yeah, I'm going to take all their money unfairly. I truly cannot believe how you would actually have that mindset, especially as like a YouTuber, you know? It's one thing if you're a politician, like people just expect to get scammed by you, but a YouTuber, someone that a lot of kids, a lot of people look up to, yeah, man, that, that's a huge fucking slap in the face in my opinion. Now for the craziest part of the whole story is that obviously she had to serve that 116 years behind bars, or actually she didn't. She didn't serve a single day, not even one goddamn day behind the bars, fellas. She came out with a quote here that says, 
I appreciate the concern about the news. I am not arrested and I will not be arrested, much less the fugitive as they are spreading. It is a process of a problem which my ex-husband had harmed me, which he has been solving over time. As soon as we parted, he took 100% of the responsibility. I work with my image. I live broadcast daily. I am known in my field. I have a physical address. It does not fit in with what is being judged out there. I honestly have no idea how she was able to manage this, but based Basically, her and her husband were both partners in this business, and I guess she was able to shift 100% of the blame on him. I don't know if that's just because he has a penis, or maybe he actually was the only one that received a paycheck. God, I, I, I hope it's because he received the paycheck and not because she's like a famous pro women, you know what I'm saying? But um, either way, yeah, I don't know about this, dude. The whole situation just seems kind of fishy, kind of slimy in my opinion. She's the one with the following. She's the one that directed her viewers to this website, and then they got scammed. Like, I think maybe 116 years is a little bit too much but not even like a big ass fine or maybe she had to pay back the people that got scammed. Like, like something needed to happen here. I don't think she needed to spend time behind bars. A lot of people embezzle, like it's pretty normal in today's society, but like you're honestly not even gonna make this fucking millionaire pay the people that work at McDonald's that were just trying to get a better CSGO skin. Like, come on, judge, what are you doing out there? Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys will have to let me know your opinion down in the comment section below but anyways guys be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the mills with me and i will catch you guys next time later